Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Arden. In today's video, we are doing the anti-TBR tag created by Nicole and her books. Now, before we get into it, my name is Arden. I am a booktuber, I am a bookstagrammer, and a writer. All my social media links are down below if you want to check me out. Question number one is a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. Now, for me, that is Daisy Jones and the Six. I have no interest in reading that book, it just doesn't sound appealing to me, it's just something that I don't think I will enjoy. Question number two, a classic book or author you don't have an interest in reading. Now for me that book would be 1984 by George Orwell. <laughs> Let me start by saying that I started reading this book when I was in second year of high school. Honestly it wasn't appealing to me so I didn't finish it, I didn't pick it up. It was for an English competition and I just did not want to read it. So this is a book that I don't think I will ever finish. My sister read it, my sister I think liked it, not my cup of tea. Question number three, an author whose books you have no interest in reading. That author would be Stieg Larsson. I have the girl with the dragon tattoo and all three books actually. I just bought them for my sister as a gift and honestly, I don't know, they never attracted me. I don't know what they're about. The covers don't seem like something I would enjoy. And again, I kind of know my taste and I don't think I will be picking it up anytime soon. Question number 3.2. A problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. I don't really think I will be reading Stephen King's books. He is very popular, however, I just have no interest in picking them up. Question number 4. An author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. I would say Lee Bardugo because I did just talk about Lee Bardugo's writing recently and only mentioned like that the Grisha universe isn't for me. However, I do want to pick up, is it the ninth house? That book has a beautiful cover. I really want to pick it up and I want to see if maybe if I don't read about the Grisha universe, the Grishaverse, I could maybe get into it. I think I might enjoy um, the Shadow and Bone series and Six of Crows a few years later down the road. Um, they are something that I think I might enjoy once I get used to it, once my taste changes a little bit. I just have to wait, but I do really want to reread it. Um, I really want to give it a chance. I really want to love these books. Uh, Six of Crows as well as Shadow and Bone trilogy. Question number five, a genre you have no interest in or a genre you tried to get into and couldn't. Um, I don't think poetry is a genre per se, but I would say it's poetry. Um, this year I've tried a lot of different genres such as horror, thriller, I've tried uh, science fiction again. I would never say never when it comes to a genre, but poetry is just something that I can't really find myself enjoying as much as um, fiction or non-fiction. Question number six is a book you bought but will never read. This can be a book you have unhauled or returned to the library unread. I really want to read this book, however, I just don't think that I will ever get to it with all the other books that I have. And this is The Second Mrs. Darcy by Elizabeth Aston. I bought it at a second-hand store. It's really beat up not that you can see because it's not focusing but it's sort of in kind of poor condition um i bought it because i at the time was really obsessed with uh pride and prejudice and i think this book is like a play on that it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single woman in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a husband say her friends and relations but recently widowed octavia darcy disagrees she hasn't forgotten her impoverished girlhood now when she unexpectedly finds herself an heiress, her ambition is to lead an independent life, not to marry again. I want to read this book, I really do, but I don't think I will ever get to it. And I don't want to unhaul it, I just, it's just sitting on my bookshelf. Question number seven is a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and have DNF'd. The amount of series I have DNF'd is ever growing. Um, for me, I guess, what first comes to mind is the Maze Runner trilogy series. I, I'm not sure how many books there are in the Maze Runner, but the Maze Runner, um, I read the Maze Runner and the Scorched Trials. I have no interest in reading the Death Cure, maybe, maybe in the future. However, um, I don't want my heart to get broken because I love Newt. Now, <laughs> I also have to say, oh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I started the first book, realized it's not for me. It was not really weird 
or peculiar but it was kind of gross in the sense that the main character kissed a girl that had been crushing on his grandfather and had been his grandfather's love i guess it's so weird i don't really i can't um no not for me <laughs> too weird question number eight and the last question is a news release you have no interest in reading and for this one i tried my hardest to find new releases i don't pay attention to new releases i only pay attention to what people are talking about on booktube it, it's not a new release it was released this year march 10th i think 2020 and it's called my dark vanessa um i have no interest in reading a book about uh what was it 15 year old who has an affair with her teacher um no interest in reading that i don't just don't want to hear about it i know it's people a lot of people's favorites and it's not a story that i would like to read i'm not gonna read it and that's it like i'm sorry <laughs> don't get me cancelled and that concludes the tag i hope you enjoyed the anti-tbr tag i have no glasses on i can't see if i was in focus at all this uh entire video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and click the like button comment down below what your answers would be or if you've done a tag let me know and i would love to check it out the end of the video i'll see you next time bye